studied uh, or studied gender studies. What do you what do you do with that degree? And you go out into the real world. Seriously. Okay, I'll ask you guys a, a question. When, by a show of hands, who has ever been in a situation when they've been like, I really need a gender studies major here to sort this out? Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to Candice Owen honest message to gender studies majors. Guys, let's get straight into this. What you guys are living through is such a unique time in this country. It, I would say it's an awful time to be a college student. Like when I was a university student, I was a liberal. My best friend in the entire world was a conservative. Her family was conservative. I used to go out for dinners with them. Like every weekend, we'd drive out to Massachusetts uh, because I went to school in Rhode Island. And I'd have dinners, and I would debate her dad, who was a conservative. And I'd say all the liberal things. And how could you not think that you know immigrants deserve a life, whatever it was. And it was all cool. There was no name calling. There was no you're a this, you're a that. So I just want you guys to be aware of that, knowing that the experience that you guys are having in classrooms has been radically transformed since the time that I went to school. So I, I graduated high school in 2007, not that long ago. I'm not exactly a dinosaur, but college campuses have completely shifted. The majors that you have were not available. <laughs> I was shocked going through the catalog since seeing Wow, they're just making stuff up. They're having yeah. fun, I feel like. They are having fun deciding what programs to allow students to just burn their cash on. I think that's a accurate way to say it. I mean, why else would you go to school and major in something like gender studies? And I'm not saying that to discount the fact that somebody might be interested in the subject. I'm just saying, realistically, have you paused and considered if you go to university for four years and you accrue debt. I'm assuming a lot of people here took out student loans. Like I took out student loans when I was in school. It was about $35,000 a year out of state. So I'm just thinking what kind Whoa. of a person would be encouraged to go to university to spend that kind of money to potentially come out of university with six figures. Guys, I, I really can help myself. I'm studying personal technology and engineering management and I can tell you, let me ask this happen to people like it's nowhere close to thirty five thousand dollars. Like it's nowhere close to ten thousand dollars. I'm paying like a thousand. Personally. Let's get back to it. <laughs> There's are close to six figures of debt, uh, like I had, and not really realize that there's Whoa. not really a job that you can take with that sort of a major. What is the job? What is the job? You say, I've studied I've got all A's, it's amazing, I did so great, you know, I studied, uh, I studied gender studies. What do you, what do you do with that degree? And you go out into the real world, seriously. Okay, I'll ask you guys a, a question. When, by a show of hands, who has ever been in a situation when they've been like, I really need a gender studies major here to sort this out? No one, no one ever. No it's one. a complete and utter scam. That's what you are, you are actually actively being scammed and you're not gonna realize it until you get out into the real world and you find that actually the only job that's going to be available for somebody that takes up that sort of a major is to go right back into the ecosystem, a professor, right? A professor and yeah. teaching the same subject that earned you no money to other students. I actually think that people should be outraged by that. And by the way, people are outraged by that. What ends up happening is a lot of these students down to real world, they find that they can't take a job and they can't find a job, they can't earn any money because they're not actually creating a meaningful job. Like they're not actually doing something that people need, right? And they learn very quickly what the free market suddenly means. Maybe the economics courses that they weren't taking, suddenly they recognize it when they get into the real world and they go, boom, now I have all this debt, I can't get a job and I'm angry and they're not quite sure who they should be angry at, yeah. right? And then they look at somebody like somebody that they went to high school with who didn't go to university and instead that kid who was basically trained to believe that he was gonna be a loser because we all feel that pressure. I definitely felt that pressure. That's why I signed up for so many ridiculous student loans to go to university, go, go, go. Even if you don't know what you wanna do, sign up and just go. You'll figure it out when you get there. You got your guidance counselor telling you that, the, you know, the entire society is sort of blaring to you that if you don't go to college, then you are a failure. Yeah. And then there's that one kid I didn't listen to that, and maybe he went to trade school, right? And that kid has, therefore, no debt. He immediately started working. Maybe he fixes, I don't know, air conditioning, air conditionings. And um, 
now he's the person. And let me tell you something. If you live in a place like I live in Tennessee, you will pay any amount of money if your <laughs> AC goes out in July or August in any of those hot <laughs> months. Suddenly that guy's making six figures. He's got no debt. And then you weigh that against the people who are convinced that they're getting the education, that they're supposed to be so much better than this person who's got, who have had massive amounts of debt. You know, it's a total flip-flop and it's a scam. Guys, if we'll be honest, AI is eating out jobs out there. And for you going to study something like gender, like, it's cool, to be honest. I feel if you're studying based on the fact that you want to be informed, but most people are going to invest in for the fact that they want to get a living out of it. But if you want to just go there and be informed, like, I feel it's, do you, like, study what you want to study? Be informed, but, like, if you want to make a living out of it, like, do something you know you can work with. Even if you're not employed, you can still work. And that's why I honestly wanted to go for construction, because I feel, even if I don't get a job, like, like I don't work for a company, I can still do solo work. And... Yes, I can still work with people, like people I know, family members who want to build houses, let's say the church, church community, stuff like that. And I think it's a cool way. I know construction is first food, but like, I don't really like going outside, though. But I'll find a way around it. And the job is fun. But like, I honestly tell you, don't do something stupid. Like, a lot of job, IT is, AI is coming from it. And for you to say you still want to do something that, it's not really the market. Like, what the fuck? I don't want to get this video limited again. But guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Please.